Hey everybody, this is Paul with ProShop. In this video I want to talk about a very important topic, and that is the topic of file management, revision control. The types of shops we work with, especially those in regulated industries like medical or aerospace, they need to keep very tight controls on their documents. And ProShop was built in that environment, so it natively does that very well. Let's show you how we handle that I'm in a couple of examples here. So here we are in a part record. And you'll see right here on my screen this link that says Part Folder. This folder that if I click this link, it will open a file browser window because um, my computer has access to view these files. And it's a folder that ProShop made. So let's try it. So I'm going to click here. Let me grab it from my other screen. And you can see this list of files, uh, folders. These folders were made in a subfolder for the particular customer, Premier Aerospace and this is for this particular part number and inside of here we have several different types of folders uh, including for example the one approved prints this folder is where this pdf file resides which is the approved drawing that we will see when we click on this link right here so if we click on that we pull up this drawing this is that file that we see and ProShop put it there when it went through the approval process uh, it got approved by one of our employees uh, ProShop renamed it, stuck it in this folder, linked it to the browser uh, in the part record and the work order and any other place you see that revision field. That will be a hyperlink back to look at that document in the browser. If we roll the revision of this document um, in the future, like a customer orders a new revision or we just roll it internally, um, whether it's driven off a customer PO or off the part record, ProShop, you see this folder archive, ProShop will take the existing file, archive it, Put it in the archive folder with an archive time date stamp and give me a spot to put the new revision drawing. So that's just one of the ways that we manage drawings uh, and attachments in ProShop and you don't need to worry about where it's going to be residing when you attach it in. ProShop will move it whether it's off your desktop or off of some other network drive. It will put it into the special folders that ProShop is managing. If we come up one level here you can see all these other folders. Uh, this is where I can put things like my the customer files that my customer originally sent us, right? In a in a in a state near where we're not going to mess with it. Uh, I can have uh, a folder here for G code for our CAD and CAM data. So here might be our master CAM programs. So all these folders again, ProShop created, and these files are safe in these locations. I can always even double click if I'm just browsing my file network. I can also just click this link, and it will open up right in the browser. So that's one type of file storage. Let's look at another. Here I have a vendor purchase order. And on this purchase order, we attached some material certs. When we did the scanning process of those certs, ProShop put them into a temporary holding folder. And then when we attached them into ProShop, ProShop moved this cert. If I click on it, there is the cert. It moved that into uh, a very specific folder where, where certs are managed and stored. And these will, this will stay linked permanently uh, from this directory location to the jobs, maintaining traceability, and all those things. So just a couple of examples of how we ha handle file management and how it really makes the back end of file management much more simple. Uh, so you don't really have to worry about linking something to your system and then, re then realizing later the link is broken. Someone moved it by accident. That just really doesn't happen in ProShop. So hopefully that was interesting. If this is uh, something you'd like to learn more about, please give us a shout.